Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing very well, Norwich City fans. Wickham nil, Norwich City 2. Another precious three points for Norwich City. That's now five wins in a row. Team of Hookie, I think, has now scored seven goals in six games. Something silly like that. Norwich are on fire and they look like the firm favourites now to get promoted uh, to the Premier League. A huge game in midweek coming up against Brentford, where it's Norwich who are first against Brentford who are second. Um, but every game's worth three points in Norwich City. Coming up against Wickham Wanderers, who are 24th in the table, and they did enough. It was a, a professional display, not at their best, but they still managed to get the three points in goals through Team Rupuki, Adam Eder at the end to wrap up a 2-0 win. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. This is going to be my match reaction going through the whole game. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section as with 33 games in, we move a step closer to promotion. And hopefully in August, there'll be 26, 27,000 fans at Carrow Road again. And it'll be a really, really good experience playing, of course, in the Premier League. We can only hope, but Norwich City do look in a good position to do that. As I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Check out my socials and the Norwich City Central shop as well in the description. Um, and let's talk about this 2-0 win. And yeah, Norwich City aren't scoring as many goals as they did two years ago. They're certainly defending better. They're not scoring as many goals, but this is a side who are seven points better off than what they were in that 94-point uh, championship winning season, which is just remarkable. Seven points better off. They're maybe not as exciting scoring as you know many goals and last-minute winners, um, but they're more disciplined and it's more mature and we look, we look really good. Um, Wickham came today as I said bottom of the table and they played a very defensive style of football 11 players behind the ball you, you can't blame them I remember at Carrow Road actually they, they, they did play some decent football at times but Wickham in this game were in terms of their tactics and their style of play was just 11 men behind the ball and then from corners and free kicks and they would overload some areas of the pitch you know have three or four players and try and win flick-ons and for the most part that worked in the first half and they had some chances in the second half as well um, but for Norris City, they're always going to be a side who had 70-80% of the ball and they were going to be the ones trying to dictate the game and, and trying to break them down. And Wickham were just hoping for a you know, a, a, fl a lucky flick on. Um, and Norris City had some good chances in the first half. Couldn't really get into their swing of things. I think Wickham were working tremendously well off the ball, closing down the spaces really quickly. They did get tired, of course, but they were working really well in that first half. Mario Ramchich had a good opportunity in the 11th minute. Hasn't necessarily necessarily got the goals in that number 10 role and has looked better in the deeper role and kind of off the bench, but he still provides a threat, a really nice free kick and a good save from Stockdale. It was at the keeper. It was on the keeper's side, but Stockdale does brilliantly still to you know dive in and, and reach the ball and claw it away from the top corner of the net. Um, and the Wickham, yeah, were just defending for most of the game, but they had a really good opportunity in the 30th minute where a long ball from Stockdale again it was flicked on, and an ex Norwich City player could have scored Mahetti. I got to be honest, I don't think I've really heard of him. I think he was a, a player in the youth academy, um, and obviously went went to the lower leagues and now finds himself in the championship. Uh, really good chance for him, eighteen yards out, and he just rushes it and then hits it wide of the post. Really poor from him. He should probably be expecting to hit the target. Um, and yeah, it was again Wickham defending really well, having a low block. Um, and Ben Gibson's uh, had a lovely weighted ball over the top to Buendia and 20 yards out he goes for the header it's a really really good header for Buendia really inventive um, 20 yards out and his header crashes in off the crossbar and Puki on the rebound probably should be hitting the target that blazes it over the bar that was a nice move and that's probably as best as he got uh, a Buendia header from range which hits the crossbar in the second half Norwich City were a lot better though Wickham began to tire and a nice early goal and from Norwich, and it's brilliant for Buendia, who was a Sky Sports man the match, and he was my man the match yet again. Buendia just, not even at his best today, but just providing moments of brilliance. A through ball down the line on the right-hand channel, Buendia out-muscles his man, gives him the shoulder barge, um, runs into the box, lovely ball into Puki, and Puki's shot deflects into the back of the net. And sometimes you need that little bit of luck, to be honest, when Wickham have 10 players behind the ball for most of the game. You're always going to get deflections here and there. Um, and Puki gets that his way. But it's brilliant from Buendia, um, escaping his man down the right-hand channel. And then Puki, lovely movement from Puki. We know he's just such a danger in the box. That quick movement, that just, just that natural instinct 
um, to know where to go in the box. Moves away from his marker, has a shot, just takes a tiny deflection off their centre back, and that falls stock down, goes into the back of the net. And Norwich City really should have made it 2 0 between the 45th and the 60th minute. We were absolutely electric um, in those in that early period. Um, really, really good, really, really good football. Um, and Wickham didn't really know what to deal with us. A lovely through ball by Mario Rangic, the pass of the game. Actually, maybe not the pass of the game. The next one was probably the pass of the game. But Mario, Mario Rancic has fired into him 30 yards. Beautiful through ball over the top to Ono Hernandez. He's running in one-on-one, -on -one, um, but his shot goes wide at the post. And Ono Hernandez comes in for Todd Cantwell. Provided some moments of spark, I would say, but not the best performance from Ono Hernandez. But he'll be hoping to keep his place um, against Brentford and, and put in a better performance. But we can we know that there's moments of sparks and that ability to run in behind will cause teams problems. And then in the 55th minute, a sensational ball from Kenny McLean escaping his man. Lovely through ball into Ono Hernandez, who's racing into the box. Ono Hernandez is brilliantly to square it across to Buendia. And then Buendia from 12 yards out fires it over the bar. Really should be scoring there, Buendia, and he'll be gutted. Um, but Wickham did begin to tire throughout that second half. And they made a really interesting decision in the 70th minute where they brought on five outfield players. All in one go, five subs. And yeah, it really worked from Gareth Ainsworth. It, it, rejuvenated, it rejuvenated them. They had more energy, had a bit more of a bounce. And from the 70th to the 85th minute, Wickham had some decent opportunities. Uh, from corners, they caused problems. Um, they had a couple of flick-ons where they had some nice opportunities. Uh, Norris City failed to defend a, um, a corner. And an overhead kick comes in from the Wickham player. That goes wide of the post. All half, not even half opportunities, but some, they got into some promising areas for Wickham. And they'd be disappointed, um, you know, they didn't make more of them. Um, and they also had a possible penalty appeal as well, where the Wickham player is kind of standing over Tim Krull, which you can't really do. It's a free kick and Tim Krull just kind of nudges him out the way, but uses his hand into his face, which if the referee saw, you could potentially give that as a penalty. Um, but Norris City were professional in their defending, disciplined. Um, and although Wickham had these opportunities and had that li little bit of energy, Norris City defended really well. And as I said at the start of the video, we're seven points clear of the 18-19, 94-point championship winning season, which is just remarkable. And I think maybe two seasons, ago, two seasons ago, we might have conceded in that spell and then probably would have scored a last minute winner. But we would have maybe would have conceded in that spell. But Ben Gibson, Grant Hanley, superb leaders at the back. And then Norris City made it 2-0 at the end in the 87th minute. Corner comes in. And how ironic it is Norris City to score from a corner despite all of Wickham's aerial presence. And Kenny McCain flicks it towards goal. Stockdale, who had a really good game for Wickham, spills it. And Adam Eder puts in the rebound. That's his second goal of the season. First goal coming on the opening day against Huddersfield. Um, and that ensured the three points. And yeah, Norris City were not necessarily at their best, but they had brilliant moments in between the 45th and the 60th minutes. And sensational play and how they didn't score two or three in that period I will not know and just Buendia just that little bit of difference that bit of energy um, deserved the man the match Puki, of course with his form he's an elect you know he, he's electric at the moment he's on fire um, and when you've got that combination Buendia and Puki, who are now the best goal scoring combination in the league um, there's only going to be one outcome when you're going forward and Grant Handy and Ben Gibson superb at the back once again I'd love to hear your thoughts down below that's Norris City now on 70 points um, Swansea and Watford in third and fourth place are on 60 points. Swansea have got a couple of games in hand and Norris City are seven points clear of Brentford. Um, but of course, Norris City play Brentford in a massive game on Wednesday night. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and I'll see you later. Come on, Norwich.